Hey everybody, uh, you know how when new shoes come out there's lots of reviews, open boxing, and quick looks? Well, I just wrapped up a eight and a half mile trail run this morning uh, here just outside of Austin, Texas, and uh, realized I just crossed over the 200 mile mark in my Ultra King Mountain shoes, and I thought I would do a quick update on them. Um, really enjoyed these these uh, shoes for me. Like I said, I've had them for a while, put in over 200 miles in them. Usually run them with the gaiters, you can see they can attach to the front of the shoe, and they also have the built in velcro on the back um, nice lightweight upper material it's held up really well um, always surprised that on the outside that you know with all the rocks that these things hit that uh, you don't have any tearing or anything like that I do have somewhere in the toe you can kind of see right here which I believe is mostly from my toenail underneath rubbing up against the bottom you can see it on both sides actually and I do have that quite often in in lots of my running shoes um, they do also have some wear and tear up in the very front. You can see where the rocks have, you know, hit that that foam and kind of rubbed it. Um, but overall, the wear has been uh, really good. Really enjoyed them. Um, longest run I've done in these is roughly about 27 to 28 miles. Um, average runs are in the five to 10 mile range. Find them to be, you know, kind of sweet spot is that, you know, 13 miles or less range because um, they are the low profile lower cushion um, you do feel a lot of the rocks underneath you but uh, they do have that stone ground so you don't feel the really sharp spots um, but you do feel the feel what you're uh, running over top of uh, really important to make sure you run with your forefoot first instead of a heel striker in this shoe um, a lot of people didn't really like the look necessarily of the king mountain when it first came out um, because of this velcro strap which I actually is one of my favorite things about the shoe um, because I don't have a really wide uh, foot in this area and I'm able to really tighten it down and really feel like I got a really snug fit which is really great if you're going to do any um, you know the tra your trails are you know, lots of ups and downs being able to feel you're not sliding around at the shoe very much um, I've also found like if you do cross over rivers the shoes um, when they get wet they drain really well and they dry very fast but having that uh, velcro strap also allows you to cinch it down since uh, like all shoes when they get wet they actually uh, do stretch and so you're able to kind of cinch it down and get a much more secure fit with that shoe um, anyways like I said 200 plus miles in this one um, really love them if you're looking for I just looked and uh, Ultra does still sell the 1.0 versions on their website they have them for a great deal of $85 in the US um, considering that uh, the new version which is you know maybe some small t tiny adjustments and some different colors sell for $140 seems like a really great deal um, anyways hope you enjoy this one we'll catch you later